Hi, this is Ken from Origin Lab. In this video, we'll be learning about Origin 2016's new cloning capabilities for importing multiple data sets. This new feature allows users to run plots and analyses on data and import additional files into the workbook through batch processing without the need to save an analysis template. To demonstrate, let's first import data file f1.dat. Make sure you've checked the Show Options box. And in the ASCII import dialog, specify the column designations so the file will be imported as X, Y, and Y arrow columns. Before you finish importing this data, make sure you have the correct long name and units. Now let's make a scatter plot using this data and set the x and y axes to rescale automatically. Next, run a nonlinear curve fit using the logistic function. And be sure you set recalculate to auto. Now let's add this window as a floating graph in the datasheet so our analysis is included in the workbook. If we want to process more data this way, make sure the first datasheet is active and then click the import multiple ASCII button. Select files F2 and F3. Make sure that the dialog theme is set to sheet. This way, the import settings will be the same as those previously used. Let's set the import mode to start new books. You'll notice in the template name drop-down list that there is an entry called Clone. Select this option to duplicate your current workbook format for your new data and click OK. Each data file will be imported to a new workbook and have the same nonlinear curve fit applied, while the floating graph will be updated with new fitting results. Now let's demonstrate Origin 2016's ability to add scripts after imports. First, import one file of data, customizing settings as needed. Then let's add a new column and use the Set Column Values tool to transform the delta temperature in Kelvin from column B into Celsius and make sure we calculate is set to automatic. Next, let's use a script to plot some of this data. To do this, we're going to paste this in the script window and press Enter. We can see it creates a graph with a user-defined template to compare delta temperatures in Kelvin and Celsius. Now let's click the Import Multiple ASCII button to import two more files. This time, set Import Mode to Start New Sheet and choose Clone as the template name. Let's paste the script that creates our graph windows in the script after each file imported box. After running our import, we can see two more sheets are added in the same workbook with the same data transformation and that two more graph windows were created. 